everyone, welcome back to Cybrosis. Today we'll be diving into the Odoo 17 purchase module and mastering the art of vendor management. We learn how to create new vendors, edit their details and utilize essential features to streamline your purchasing process. Before we begin, ensure you have Odoo 17 up and running with the purchase module installed. So let's open the purchase module. The first step is creating a new vendor. Okay, so let's jump right in. Locate the purchase app in the main menu or search bar or click on it to enter to the purchase module. Now, once you open it, you have to open the vendor list. Okay, so you have to find the vendors menu. You can find it under the orders menu. Okay, so open that. Now, clicking on the vendors will display you the existing suppliers. Okay, so right now we are going to hit the create button. Okay, so this opens a window for creating a new vendor profile. So this is the vendor creation, prof I mean, vendor creation window where you can create a new vendor. It can either be an individual or a company. Okay, so I'm choosing it as an individual and the name I'm giving it as John. Okay, so you can now specify the company in which John belongs to. So I'm putting him under the demo company. So all the details that is the contact and all will be taken off that of the company which we've given. Okay. Now next you have to fill in the vendor details. Okay. You have the name, the contact, the address and so on. Okay. So here you have the option to enter their physical address for deliveries or invoices. Okay. Before going to address you have the job position, the phone, mobile, email, website, title and tags. Okay, so that's how you need to address that person. So I'm putting Mr. Okay, then you have the tags and so on. Now let's move on to the address. That is the physical address for deliveries and invoices. So I'm just clicking on add. You have multiple address options like other addresses, follow-up address, delivery address, invoice addresses, as well as the contact address. So for a single person, you can add more than one addresses. Okay, so here I'm going to create a new contact for this person. So, John, I'm choosing the title as Mr. And the position, I'm putting it as Sales. And then here, you can specify the email, the phone number, and the mobile number. Once you're done, you can save and close it. And if you want to add multiple address again, you can simply click on Add over here. Here, you have the Sales and Purchase. Okay. So, here in the Sales and Purchase tab, you can see the details regarding sales, purchase, point of sale, fiscal information, as well as the miscellaneous information. Okay. So, here under the sales, you have the sales person, that is the internal user who is in charge of this contact. Okay. Then you have the payment terms. You know what payment terms are, right? So, just keep the pointer here and it will show what the payment terms are. So it's a, the payment term that will be used instead of the default one for sales order and customer invoices. So that's the payment terms and it will take the price list of the parent company. Okay. And here similarly, you have the purchase where you have to provide the buyer, the payment terms, 1099 box, the payment method, and then you have the received reminder, you know what it is for. So if you simply check it, this is, this was, I mean, this will we sending a confirmation mail to the vendor X days before the expected receipt date asking him to confirm the exact date. So check it and here you can specify the count of the days. That is how much days before the reminder should be sent. And then you have the point of sale where you can specify the barcode, the fiscal information which is basically for tax mapping and then you have the miscellaneous information. Next you have the accounting section. So, this accounting related settings are basically managed on the parent company. Okay. And then you have the internal notes. So, don't forget to add in any internal notes or reminder specific to this vendor. So, internal notes can be added here. And here you have the partner assignment, which will show you the geographical location, which shows the longitude and latitude based on the address. So, you can compute it based on the address from here. Okay. So that's how you can create a vendor. So you have the meetings, the opportunities, the sales and under more you have subscription task, ticket purchases and the invoiced bills, the, you know, vendor bills, partner legend, so on, which are all corresponding to this particular vendor. Okay. So congratulations, you have successfully created a new vendor. Okay. 
Well, let me show you how to manage your winter. So once the vendor creation is done, you can save it. Okay. So a new vendor is created, which is John. Okay. Go back. And here you can see John. And this is the contact which you created for the person. Okay. So John is created. Now, if you want to edit the vendor, you can select the vendor from the list. Okay. And simply, you know, go wherever you want to do the edits. Mark there. Do the edits and save it. It's that simple. Okay. So here you can edit any details you need to update like the con contact information or even the payment terms. Okay. And even you can track the vendor performance that is Odoo provides valuable insights into your vendor's performance. So you have the payment history, then you have the purchase orders and all. So that's what I showed you here. Okay. You can see the purchases which are done over here and all such things. So this is basically to track the performance of the vendor. So all these types are to track the performance of the vendor. Okay, so that's the payment history. So you can see all the list of the purchase orders placed within the within this vendor. Okay, and then you have things like the product catalog integration, the vendor lead time, the minimum order quantity and so on. Okay, so this is basically how you create a vendor. That is the basic vendor creation and how to manage it. Okay, so by mastering the vendor management in Oro 17, you can actually streamline your purchasing process, which will improve supplier relationship and gain valuable insights into your business operations. So don't forget to like and subscribe for more Oro tutorials. If you have any questions about managing vendors in Oro, leave a comment below and I'll be happy to help. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.